With V-Ray 5, there is a quick and easy way to take your scenes to the next level. Chaos Cosmos is an extensive library of ready-to-use assets to populate your scenes quickly and in just a few clicks. Let's open the Chaos Cosmos browser and pick a few plants for our exterior. Start by clicking Download. When it is complete, importing the asset is just a click away, and it's ready to be placed wherever you like. Since every asset in Chaos Cosmos is optimized for V-Ray, they are ready to render right out of the box. When we are done arranging our scene, all we need to do is click Render to get a stunning image. When we open a scene on a computer that doesn't have Chaos Assets, we might be able to see objects, but they do not appear while rendering. This is because V-Ray can't find those assets on this computer. To remedy this, all we need to do is download them. The easiest way to do this is to use the Geometry tab in V-Ray's Asset Editor. There we have all of our Cosmos assets listed. When you take a look, there is a small icon on the right side of each missing asset that says Download. Click this icon and a download will start. We can do this for each asset or just select the assets you want. In this case, I will select everything, then right-click and again select Download. Now we just have to wait while Chaos Cosmos downloads everything and we are ready to render our project. Even though Cosmos assets come to your project ready to render, that doesn't mean we don't have control over them. Actually, they are highly customizable and we can adjust them to meet the needs of our project in just a few clicks. Let's go to the Geometry tab in the Asset Editor where we have our Cosmos assets located. Let's pick one and see what's going on. At the moment, in the right-hand flyout menu, we don't have many options other than changing the representations and material overrides. But if we click on the Merge button, V-Ray will bring the Cosmos asset into our scene in the form of a proxy. And, as you can see, we can now see all the materials used on that asset. If we click on any of them, we can actually adjust them to our liking. Now that our scene is set up, Let's take a look at the easiest way to share it with colleagues or other people. From the Extensions drop-down menu, if we go to V-Ray, there is an option to Pack Project. This will collect our scene and all of our assets into one archive. Let's select that option. As you can see, we are prompted with the question, would you like to include Cosmos assets into that archive? Choosing Yes is the recommended workflow if we are to send our scene to a render farm, since we need to have the Cosmos assets. Otherwise, the No option is recommended for when you simply want to share the project with somebody else. In this case, the assets need to be downloaded manually.